Do you hear that? There you go, little one. Listen to that. Isn't that such a beautiful song? And I just found the little bird who makes that song, and it is so tiny. It is probably only like yay big, and it's hiding somewhere up in the electrical parts of... Oh, there he is, there he is, I found him, okay. Alright, can we get a good look at him? There he is. You see him? That tiny little thing right there. That is a very, very small, small, small little brown bird. Who is making all of that beautiful singing. I have no idea who or what he is, but he's glorious. Oh, and I just, I love the songs. Oh, there goes a morning dove. I love all of the songs. I love the bird song here. I love how many birds and how much wildlife there is here. And really, you know, I bet that there's this much wildlife and this much bird song everywhere and I just never really paid attention where I lived before. So that's actually what today's Expedition Sunday is all about, guys. And it's good to see you all again. Today's another Expedition Sunday and we're actually... There he goes again. We're actually going to hang out in the backyard. We're not going to go too far from uh, my apartment complex because A, I'm still feeling pretty sick. I've had the flu all month <laughs> and it's been really hard to get over it and keep on top of videos, but I just, I cannot wait. I have to be outside. I love being outside and I thought I'd bring you guys with me on a little walk around my neighborhood, which is just an apartment complex in the middle of the city so that you guys can see some of what may be available just for you anywhere you are anywhere you live there is something out there the wildlife and nature works around us we're in the way and they'll they'll put themselves wherever they can like that little beautiful tiny bird who's sitting up he's so small he's almost hummingbird sized it seems and he sings so loud, that's just amazing to me. But you can find this kind of beautiful wildlife and all sorts of discoveries and observations to make anywhere you live. And that's kind of what I wanted today's video to be about so that you know you don't have to live in the Appalachian Mountains or on the beach or in Hawaii or in Sweden or somewhere really fancy with, with like world-renowned wildlife. Just to be able to go outside your back door and be totally enchanted at what you see. Like these guys. Look at all of these guys. They don't mow this half of the lawn and I actually really love that fact because we end up with all these cute little buttercups and they're so adorable. I mean whenever I look out my window in the morning like I'll come out and there's our porch right there. Our fence is right there because we're on the end unit and I'll just sit on the patio and you look at this and it's just a sea of beautiful flowers and most people would consider these just like little invasive um, ground flowers but I love them I just think that they're the most precious thing and it, seeing them just a field like this it's just amazing to me I love I love it I love it I love it and you, can you guys hear that catbird that's the other thing I've really gotten into since we've moved into Boone there that call right there is he gonna do it again Wait for it. No, not yet. Okay. But that call was a catbird. And they're kind of a brown... There he goes. He's flying off. A brown drab bird that uh, makes kind of like a... There, that right there. So that wasn't him flying off. Yeah, a brown little drab bird that makes a really fun little call that sounds kind of like a cat meowing, so it's called a cat bird. And they come down and eat the cat food that we leave out for the stray cats um, pretty often, which is pretty funny to me. But here's a fence. This fence is just built to kind of divide properties. You guys have seen on my blog channel um, when I cleaned up the other side. This The other side of this fence used to be nothing but litter. There's still quite a bit of litter. You can see peaks of it right there. But even this fence, nature is like, hey, I'm going to grow here. And look at these beautiful flowers. Look at them. Look how cute they are. These little tiny purple flowers with these itty bitty little purple. Oh, let's see if I can get to focus. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Look at the tight little itty bitty fruit that started to come out from this one. Oh, that's just so pretty to me. 
I love it. I love these tiny little flowers, just the way they blossom. Look at the dots on the center of that petal. I love it. And you can see how they, they kind of hang in little clusters. And the vines go every which way, and they have a very good reach. So it's fun to watch the vines, and you can see the years past vines, and you can see a different species of other vine mixed in that made these poofs. And I don't know who or what these poofs belong to, but they're interesting. See, there's so much, and we haven't even taken like five steps yet. So much to see, so much to observe, just if you get outside and, and go looking. Oh, and you bloomed, huh? I've been watching this little one, and so the blossom on the right right here has just finally bloomed. Let me see if I can... Come here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. But yeah, the blossom over here on the right has finally bloomed, and it was not bloomed uh, earlier this morning. So that's what's fun, too. Never forget that these little flowers, especially the ones people consider weeds, they grow so fast. You can almost watch their growth through the day. And if you start watching them long enough, you'll learn uh, which ones to focus on, which ones to keep a watch on. You can see right here where one of the vines grabbed the stick a while ago. Look at the size of these leaves. I don't even know what this plant is. Well, look at the size of those leaves. It's considered probably just another, like, weed-type plant. This, for sure, is a weed-type plant right here. You can see his huge stem. Very thick diameter on it, too. And I love it. This is what just, like I keep saying over and over again, just walking in your own backyard and looking around can show you. Very old vines growing up a tree. Look at how pretty that is. You can see the white flowers that are still up in the upper reaches of these trees. There's little white cluster flowers growing down from them that I love coming out here. Um, most of them have fallen by now, but during the earlier part of the week, uh, the petals were starting to come down, and so when the wind would come through, it would just rain petals everywhere, and it was so pretty. And I love seeing this vine how it's so opportunistically climbed up its little, little spot there. And here's another one of the weed plants. I pulled up a ton of these back in the um, secret garden area because I needed to work back there. And look at these wicked little spikes. And look at those thorns. This little plant that's just going, no, you can't eat me. You can't mess with me. And yeah, it's got, some, it's got some good spikes on it to prevent being eaten by anything or me just being able to rip it out with my hands. But if you look closely, look at what it turns into. See, you can follow the leaf patterning. So we've got big old leaf here. And keep following it. Follow, 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 follow. And where are we? Ta-da! We're at this beautiful, beautiful flower. So it makes me kind of sad that back in the secret garden, I pulled up so many of these guys because I needed to work back there when it turns out this is what they make. And in fact, I'm going to walk a little bit further down and I will show you guys some beautiful spots where these just wild weed type plants with these glorious, gorgeous flowers, which are so useful for the pollinators. Don't forget all these little things. They may not be proper flowers like you would see in flower pots or gardens, but these are vital pieces of the puzzle for pollinators and for anybody who wants to nibble on their leaves. And they're very, very important for those creatures. So I'm going to pop over to another spot where there's some of these growing very beautifully. And I'll show you, it's just like a waterfall of white flowers. So one second. Here we are. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> it's so pretty. And right behind here, there's a ton of bird nest. I saw a baby cardinal, and I saw a tiny little poofed up baby finch. You can kind of still hear them if you listen real closely. Do you hear that chatter? That's them. But yeah, that's just from this, this beautiful view on these plants is just from the the weed plants growing up 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 onto a tree. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, look, there's a little sparrow. Can we get a good glimpse? And they smell so good. Anybody up here? Oh, yes. 
see him? Right there, that bird? You're a good singer, my little friend. Yeah, you hear that? Oh, look, 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 we found it, you guys. We found the robin nest. Right there. You can see Mama Robin or Daddy Robin and Baby's right there. That's the nest. I'm going to have to show Darling later. But again, look, my house is right there. We haven't even gone like on any big mountain journey or anything like that. And I saw the baby's heads poking out when Mom was feeding it. That was amazing. But yeah, that's, again, that's just right here in the, par in the apartment complex. And that's what I'm trying to drive home is you never know what you're going to find. So go out and do a little bit of adventuring. I did not expect to find a robin nest. That was really cool. I was just going to show you guys these beautiful flowers and they smell so good. And they also still have the thorns on them. Ta-da! Thorns! So what better place to build a nest than on the underside of that where you can raise your young in a nice safe place. That is such an ingenious little thing. I love it. All right, one more little thing to show you guys, and then we will call this our little expedition for Sunday. One second. <laughs> you see the little ladybug? Wait, the wind's blowing, but she's on the underside of that leaf right there. What a good place to nap, like an upside down little hammock. Beautiful upside down little green hammock. But we're here at one of my favorite trees. We are looking at a tulip tree here named because of these beautiful blossoms that they have known as tulip blossoms they're not tulips related to the the bulb flower but it's just a name they have I'm not even sure if it's just a local name for these beautiful flowers look at how lovely that is i love the colors on this and it smells like a little orange <laughs> it smells like oranges to me <laughs> but they're very very beautiful flowers they grow all over this tree during this time of the year. Look at those. And I think that they're just one of the most fun things. But again, if you don't get out in time, you can see the petals are already covering the ground everywhere. If you don't get out in time, you're not going to get a chance to see them. Oh, and look, another little pollinator. Hiding in the corner there. You see him? A little beetle? There, yeah. But yeah, this is all again. Oh, and you can see new leaf growth coming in and this is all just stuff that you can find just walking outside my door and I we don't live in a landscaped lot this is not a landscaped yard by any means it's not super fancy it's just my my apartment complex yard and I'm sure that you guys have some pretty amazing things to discover as well I've walked past that robin's nest multiple times and I have never seen it I walk past that spot every day and today, when I was taking extra time to try to observe everything to share it with you, that's when I realized that there was a robin's nest there. So if you like want to go out on a walk, you want to try to find things, but you just don't seem to have any luck, like I keep saying, try to gra like grabbing a camera, try grabbing your phone, see what happens if you try taking pictures or recording, because you tend to pay attention to things in a whole different way when you're trying to share the experience. So, or take a friend, you could do that too. Or even a dog, even taking your dog makes you react and explore the world so much differently. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. It is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon here. I'm definitely gonna be walking around for quite a while yet. And remember guys, stay curious. Go find some tulip trees. They're so pretty.